Welcome to Unit 8, Part 2 of the Aleph Ba textbook. In this video, we will cover more facts about Hamza, specifically Hamza the Wassel, Hamza when it's seated on a wow, and Hamza when it's seated on the letter ya. This video is brought to you by the Critical Language Service. To learn more about our Arabic courses, visit us on the web at www.criticallanguageservice.com Let's learn more about the Hamza. Previously, you learned that Hamza is written on top of the letter Alif. Alif function as Hamza's chair or kursi. When Alif acts as Hamza's chair at the beginning of a word, it is written like this. The first step, you draw Alif, straight line. And second step, you put Hamza on top of Alif. Previously, you also learned that Hamza can be written directly on the line at the end of a word. So, for instance, if X are letters here, at the end, we write Hamza like this on the line. It can also appear as both like this or like this in the middle or end of a word. But Hamza written like this in the middle, it's extremely rare in Arabic. Now we give you some commonly used example of Hamza in the middle and at the end of the word. Here let's take a look at other word Aba, which you see Hamza on the alif at the end of the word. Here you see the word Ja'a and the Hamza is on the line. And another example is the word Sa'ala and the Hamza is in the middle on top of the Alif. Additionally, two, two other letters can serve as chairs for Hamza. Wow and Ya. Notice that Ya doesn't have dots when it serves as a chair for Hamza. Hamza on Kursi Ya and cursi wow. When Hamza is written at the beginning of a word, it is always seated on an aleph. When it appears anywhere else in the word, its location and the letter that serves as its chair depends upon the vowel surrounding it. When Hamza is written in the middle of a word, it may be written like the word su'al, the Hamza we write it on wow, as you see here. The next example is the word Ta'ira, airplane, and you see Hamza in the middle on the chair Ya. As we explained earlier, Ya doesn't take dot when it serves as a chair for Hamza. In these examples, Su'al and Ta'ira, Ya and Wow don't serve as a vowel. Instead, they are merely seats for the Hamza. Arabic vowels have a hierarchy. The Hamza will always be written on top of the chair that matches the strongest vowel sound on either side of it. Arabic vowel hierarchy. So, how do we know what Hamza kind of chair does it get when it comes in the middle of the word? Here we explain. Some vowels in Arabic are considered stronger than others. Let's take a look. Now, let's take a look at the strongest vowel. First one is Kesra. So, if Hamza is surrounded by Kesra, and Kesra is the strongest vowel, then the chair of Hamza would be yeah. Here is a word Aisha. Can you guess where we put the Hamza? 
Let's take a look at this word. Here you see Hamza is surrounded by a long vowel. And beneath Hamza we have Kasra. And here, as you see, the letter Ya serves as a seed for Hamza. And notice it doesn't have any dots. And here you see Hamza is surrounded by long vowel A and Kesra. And as we explained earlier, Kesra is the strongest vowel. And when Hamza is surrounded by Kesra, the chair for Hamza would be Ya. Once again, when Hamza is surrounded by Kesra or long vowel, the chair would be Ya. The second strongest vowel is Dhamma or long vowel. When Hamza is surrounded by Dhamma or long vowel, Wa will serve as a chair for Hamza. Now, let's examine the word Fuad. I want to see if you know where we put Hamza. Here we have the long vowel, alif, and, and we have dhamma and fa. So the hamza comes on the wow, correct. When hamza is surrounded by fatha or alif, it will be written on alif. In the word sa'al, you see that Hamza Fatha comes on the letter Sa Sin. Therefore, Hamza comes on Alif. Alif serves as the chair. Alif Medda. You can see the shape of Alif Medda here. Alif Medda happens when Hamza is followed by an Alif. An example would be the word Quran. Here you see the word Quran. Notice the Hamza. Hamza is followed by Aleph, as you see. The rule is Hamza plus Aleph, just like you see in the word Quran. Will be changed to Aleph Medda, which is written like this. And it's like a hat. Therefore, the correct way to write the word Quran is writing it like this. Alif and with the hat shape on top of it. Mm -hmm. Alif Medda can come in the beginning, end or middle of a word. It is pronounced like a Hamza followed by a long vowel Alif like uh, to practice the forms of Hamza we just learned, go to pages 183 through 187 of your Alif Ba book.